Okay, hi there guys. Uh, someone sent me a question regarding uh, implementing a drag and drop between data grid view. I'm gonna show you how to do it here. So this demonstration we have this data grid view which has a number of values. Uh, you can select a row here and then you can drag it and drop it into the other data grid view. All I did here, I didn't modify this data grid view, I just am just displaying the first cell in the row. Um, I'm going to select another one and drag and drop it here and we you can see that this is the value 10 okay the same goes here this is the value 12 and so on so what do you need to do when you are working with data grid view or any kind of control that you want to have a drag and drop capability it's very easy very straightforward first you select the control okay a uh, set of controls that you want them to do a drag and a drop so in this case this is the first one sorry this is the first integrated view and what you see here is that there is a property called allow drop you set this to true uh, same goes here you take the second integrated view and then you also do um, allow drop okay next you want to drag the information from here depending on the control uh, you you need to select the appropriate event uh, well uh, in this case I selected uh, a mouse down event where is that where is it where is it okay this is the mouse down event okay which means when the mouse uh, button is being clicked so what am I doing here is that I'm checking if there is a row being selected if there is no row selected don't do a drag and drop because there is nothing to drag and drop uh, on the other hand what happens something very simple uh, you have this method most controls have this do drag and drop which means start the drag and drop operation now what's the parameter here uh, the parameter is is an object and this represents the data you want your application or your control to send it to other controls in this case I am sending the selected row here okay you can uh, send a cell you can send some text you can set some number you can set any kind of information okay uh, next uh, the drag to uh, drop effect you set this to all and uh, that's it okay uh, this is all the part that you have to do in here for the first integrity view on the second integrity view uh, there are two events that you must uh, you must do uh, the first one uh, is drag enter okay and uh, you just set the, the effect value for the parameter uh, the effect property for the parameter into a drag it off for example copy or move or any anything like that uh, so what this means is that when the mouse uh, if the mouse is doing a drag and drop operation and it enters this control show the end user some kind of effect so that the end user will know what's happening okay so this is the first property the second and most important property is drag and drop which means that the user it dropped the item the user released the button so what should you do you need to get the information from uh, 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 sorry you need to get the information that was sent by uh, the first control now here look at what we sent here we sent data grid if you want selected rows we send our row however here you didn't you don't get it like this it's a little bit more complicated what you do you you use e which is the parameter here okay uh, and you use the data property and say get data okay and from that you need to cast it to the appropriate data type so you just say get type and provide the data type here and finally you are getting uh, the value from the cell if you are for example sending text all you have to do for example you just write string here and it will work for you depending on the type of data you are sending here you need to specify the same data type in here okay and now after you are getting the data you can insert the value into the new uh, data grid view you can for example uh, 
do some kind of processing or whatever you like. So this is how you do a drag and drop. It's very easy, very straightforward. So again, I am gonna rehearse it. Okay. Uh, the first step is you set the allow drop property to true. The same goes for the second one. Uh, sorry. Allow drop property to true. Next, you need to start the drag and drop operation. Uh, you need to select the appropriate uh, event, maybe mouse down, maybe another event. And uh, what you do, you issue a drag and drop uh, method or call the drag and drop method passing the data you want to send to the other control. This is the first part. The second part, you go to the other control and you set the drag enter property. Okay, e, uh, sorry, the drag and uh, uh, you write the code for the drag enter method. You set effect to copy, for example, and finally. Uh, you write the code for drag drop. You you get the information uh, from the uh, the parameter. You use data dot get data, and finally you specify uh, the data type, and uh, then you do some processing. And this is pretty much it. This is how it works. Okay. Uh, well, I hope you'll find this useful. If you have further questions, send them to notes at mkdiceof.com. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.